So I went out of the car para i-shoot tong tong video na to. And then dahil sabi ko nga sobrang sobrang talino ko. Naiwan ko yung susi sa loob ng In this vlog, I wanted to talk about five don'ts during the board review season. And this is non-academic. These are five don'ts during the board review season. Okay? First don't is don't break up with your boyfriend, girlfriend, your partner. Because it's a distraction. Eh. Try to talk things out. But then, kapag siya naman yung nakipag-break sa'yo, that's another story. Wala kang magagawa dun kasi it's out of your control. Siya, yung, siya na yung ayaw. But again, uh, minimize the distractions during boards. One of the most important things that you can do to improve your chances of passing the boards. Next up is number two. Uh, don't fall for scams. Ano tong mga scams na sinasabi ko? Mad madaming mga scams, lalong lalo na yung mga kaibigan mong hindi nagme-med at saka yung mga kaibigan mong pumasa na ng boards. Ano yung mga scam na yan? Yung mga scam na two bottles lang pare, inum lang tayo sandali. Ah, hindi yan two bottles for sure. Tara, doon tayo mag-review sa beach. Dalhin mo na lang yung reviewer mo. Tutulungan ka pa namin mag-review. It's not gonna happen for sure. Siguro makakabasa ka one, two pages in two days. Sobrang konti nun. For sure. Kung pupunta ka doon, hindi matutuloy yun. Hindi ka mag-aaral. Nasa beach ka eh. Bakit ka mag-aaral? Ito pinakamatinding scam na mahahata ka talaga. Pagka sinabi nila sa yung kasama doon yung crush mo. Pagka sinabi nila yun, nako. Lalo na pagka alam mong marupok ka, iwas talaga. Kasi two months lang. Keep it together for two months. Again, sabi ng top notch sa amin, I'm not promoting, pero dahil doon kami nag-review, uh, pain is temporary, but license is forever. Number three, naiwasan ko siya kasi inherently tamad ako. Number three is, don't overdo. Don't overdo it. Take rest masasaturate talaga yung utak mo. Parang nababasa mo siya, pero wala nang pumapasok sa utak mo talaga. That's for studying in a day. Paano pa if you're studying for two months? You have to pace yourself. Ang isang pinakamaganda is schedule mo yung rest. Like, every Sunday, wala akong gagawin talaga. Family day, maganda na yung schedule mo kasi pagka hindi mo yung schedule, you're prone na maaya na mag-rest even if hindi mo pa time to rest kasi kasi wala kang schedule eh during your board exam you will study like you've never studied before kasi you will be examined like you've never been examined before for our fourth tip naman would be don't compare yourself to others uh, meron meron kasi talagang mabibilis magbasa merong mabibilis magretain ng information mabilis magmemorize and then meron talagang mas mabilis silang umintindi than to memorize you should not compare kasi you will have an advantage in areas that they don't maaring na memorize nila ng mabilis pero hindi nila nagegets masyado maaring ikaw na nagets mo gets mo, sila hindi nila maintindihan pero sila memorize nila pero syempre kailangan kahit papano aware ka din dun sa mga bagay na dapat alam mo during your review, sobrang taas ng pressure huwag mo nang dadagdagan pa yung pressure na yon by comparing yourself to others um, hindi ka na talaga makaaral dahil hindi ka na makafocus dun sa plano mong gawin sa schedule mo dahil kinukompare mo na lang yung sarili mo sa ibang tao hindi yun, hindi yun maganda. Plan mo yung kung ano yung aaralin mo for that day, ano yung goal mo matapos on that day, and then stick to it. Kung mauna man sila, maaaring nauuna sila sa ibang subjects, pero naglalag naman sila sa iba. Tapos ikaw naman may advantage ka over them at some, at some areas. Hindi mo alam eh. Okay, and then tip number five, 
don't isolate yourself. It's very tempting sa boards dahil nga sobrang daming distractions. It's very tempting na kunin mo na lang yung review materials and then magtago ka sa loob ng bahay niya at mag-aral, basahin yan, i-memorize lahat. Tapos umattend lang ng classes and stuff. I think it would be better if you if you are with a group. Pagka you're not isolated, you're with other people, matatanong mo sila, oy, paano to? Nagets mo ba to? Anong ibig sabihin nito? Paano yung ganyan? Mas dadali. Magigets mo agad. May explain nila agad sa'yo. And then, another uh, advantage of not being isolated is uh, alam naman natin na sa board exam, yung mga questions doon, uh, some of them are based sa sam samplex or sample exams ng ibang school and you can't gather lahat ng samplex na yun by your own having having your friends around you pwede ka nilang masenda ng mga uh, samplex na nakita nila na send sa kanila ng friends nila um, kung meron silang friends from other institutions sa ibang and then Another bonus step regarding samplex is always recheck the answers na naka-indicate dun sa, dun sa samplex mismo. Kasi sometimes the answers there is mali. Uh, ako, I have the bad habit of just taking that answer. Hindi, hindi ko nire-recheck kasi sabi ko nga inherently tamad ako. So <laughs> ayokong gawin yun. Nalalaman ko na lang na mali siya kapag sinabi sa akin na ng friend ko or sa group chat ng batch namin na guys malitong number ganito ito dapat yung sagot according sa ganitong book ganyan ganyan doon ko na lang nalalaman so that's it five five don'ts during the board review season uh, hit that subscribe button uh, hit that bell to be notified once I upload new videos and I will see you in the